लीड कोड सोल्यूशन आर बैक है गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो दिस चैनल एवरी डेटा साइंस इज ऑल अबाउट ट्राइंग टू लर्न द डिफरेंट कंसेप्ट इन लॉर्ड एंड साइंस पर प्रैक्टिसिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो रिसेंटली लीड कोड केम आउट विद अ न्यू सब सेक्शन कॉल्ड पैंडाज वेयर बाय यू कैन सॉल्व अ लॉर्ड ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन यूजिंग पैंडाज लाइब्रेरी इन पाइथन If you are new to this channel I have solved close to 200 easy medium and hard level questions using SQL the link of that entire playlist will be in the description box below from this video I am going to solve these questions using pandas library and don't worry if you don't have litcode premium subscription I right now have litcode premium subscription but even if you don't have I am going to add the schemas in the description box of each of these videos so that even if you don't have lead code subscription you can still you know make up these tables and write your python code in let's say jupyter notebook etc right okay so in this video i am going to solve this question on lead code regarding combine two tables using pandas and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems the difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in apple microsoft amazon google and adobe interviews okay and i am this is how the pandas schema looks like don't worry i will just copy and paste it in the description box below as well if you want to copy this into jupyter notebook and want to try this out on your own even if you don't have lead code premium subscription okay let's jump right in the question reads right uh, let me do okay the question reads there are two tables right person as well as address person id is the primary key or the column with unique values non null unique values for this table this table contains information about the id of some persons and their first and last names okay there is another second table four different columns and these are their data types address id is the primary key again column with unique values each row of this table contains information about the city and state of one person with id is equal to person id we are asked to write a solution to report the first name last name city and state of each person in the person table so each person in the person table if the address of a person id is not present in the address table report null instead the order of the result does not matter okay so let's look at this example so you have two different tables right person table two different uh, entries and address table so it says we need to return first name last name city and state and how can we get the first name last name city and state of each of the person in the person id table so we can do a left join using the person id column from person table as well as the same column from address table right and it says that if there is nothing present right so if the address of the person id is not present in the address table report null instead so even if you know when you do the left join this will take care of itself that if it is not present for example 1 right where person id 1 is not present in the address table so it will automatically populates null in city and state columns right or in fact for that matter every column right so that is how the output looks like okay so let's jump to the solution part so basically we are you know writing the solution in a way where we are creating a function called combine two columns with two input parameters person data frame which is a data frame address data frame and our output is also a pandas data frame so basically what do we need to do is we need to perform a left join right so how can we perform joins in pandas we can use the dot merge method right so we can write okay result right result is equal to pandas dot merge right then the first data frame right so first data frame we need everyone from person table right so we need to keep person on the left then we need to join it with address table or address data frame on which column are we going to perform this join person id right if the name of this columns in both these two tables would have been different we have to write left on and right on since the name of the column is same we just write on right so on person id and how 
so the answer to this question lies in the question itself right so it says write a solution to report the first name last name city and state of each person in the person table so it does not matter if something is present in the address table or not but everything from the person table has to be there in the, in the output right so that is why left right okay so this will perform a join now the problem with this part is it will perform a join and it will have all the columns, right? So all columns from person ID, last name, first name, right? Basically from person table and all columns from address table as well. We don't need that. What do we need? We only need the first name, last name, city and state columns. Also, since we are writing the, you know, um, is this in a form of a function, right? So we need to return something as well, right? So it, uh, the output should be a pandas data frame. So what we can do, we can write to return the result because result is already a data frame, but we don't need all the columns. So we can provide the list of columns that we need to return out of it. So the first list is first name, right? Then last name right and then what do we need we need the city part and we also need the state part okay so now this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted if we look at our output right and expected output is same as well right let me go ahead and submit it to fit see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how it so not a very difficult question it might throw some people off because we are you know using a function to generate this solution and why we are not using you know just simply performing a merge etc so my answer to that is because it is a default way we are trying to you know maintain the default way so that we are able to pass all the test cases but yeah if you are doing this in jupyter notebook you don't have to you know write the solution in a function format you can simply go ahead and do this part right pd merge person address on and how and save this in a data frame let's say called result and then you can you know you don't need to write return and define and all that right so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.